How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and we're going to be talking about SNDL which ended up having a big catalyst today thus contributing to the performance we saw today in the stock market and I'm also going to be doing a technical analysis also on Zometica. We already know that we're betting that there's going to be a run up and you know what? I think it's actually continuing considering how the price movement was, but hey, I'm gonna be breaking that down in my technical analysis along with the catalyst for SNDL and the technicals for SNDL as well. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be doing a technical analysis on SNDL Sundial Growers. It ended up being up 14.08% on the day, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. If you remember from the last video, we were talking about that resistance area around $1.55. And I must say, SNDL did a great job today chewing that up. But let's get into it very quickly. So one of the things that I love to see is seeing a gap up, and that's exactly what we had today. As you can see over here, we met a resistance area here in the pre-market. You can see it's around $1.48 and also at that dollar and 49 cents. So those are the resistance areas that were definitely showing itself, showing its head in the pre-market time. If we take a look at the support area, we can see a support area tested here around 141, but let's just call that 142. And we also see a support area being tested here as well at 144. So seeing these particular areas get tested was very interesting. We actually started getting in contact with the 200 day SMA as well. And usually when we see these particular type of moves, that's usually a buying opportunity, okay? So let's move forward. So as you can see, as we get right into the open, we end up having a very strong move and we end up getting all the way up to around $1.61. We didn't spend much time over there. So in all actuality, we could honestly say we were at $1.59. So that was definitely an area of resistance right there. So as we move forward, we see that we actually end up getting in touch with the 100 day. This is another buying opportunity right here okay you can see that we recovered the buying pressure increases even if you take a look down here at the rsi this was really good value we end up making a strong move getting up to a dollar 58 so you can see it's definitely testing this area of the dollar 60 to dollar 59 area and we have another move to the upside going here at a dollar 60. And like we said before, this was definitely an area of resistance. So getting knocked all the way back down, but this time, instead of bouncing off the 100 day or the 200 day, ends up bouncing off the 50 day. One thing that we need to take notice of, it did do a fairly decent job actually staying on the 21 day EMA and continuing that trend as you can see here. Aside from breaking it between this time around 12.05, all the way until we could say around 11.05 a.m., but that's okay because it started catching back up. So usually when we see this particular type of trends, this is looking really good as far as going towards the upside. So we end up having a strong move, breaking through finally through that 160 area and getting up to 165, which ended up being the main resistance area on the day, the high of the day and so forth. And this was actually great to see because we were talking about it's going to be very important for seeing Sundial break through $1.55 when we were looking at the chart. I think it was a three-month chart. Yeah, the three-month chart we're looking at. So seeing it break through that and going 10 cents above that is actually really good to see. So if we take a look quickly here inside the after hours, it's definitely doing a fairly good job holding down that $1.60 area. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that be an area of support going forward. That would be great. But if that area does end up breaking, we definitely do believe that we can have see some support here around this $1.55 area that was a prior resistance area. So if we end up having a gap down or so forth, I really do want to be seeing us hold down that $1.55 area quite well. As far as if we end up getting a move to the upside, definitely want to see it being reclaimed back into the $1.65 and above area so we can start seeing a touch to a $1.70. So we're going to be going over the catalyst today for SNDL Sundial Growers. What was really crazy, we ended up having an overall amount of half a billion in volume today. 
And this is the type of moves that we can really look forward to because we end up getting days like this. So anyways, so why Sundial Growers stock surge today? The popular cannabis stock announced a new strategic partnership. This is exactly what we've been looking for as far as shareholders. We wanted to see what they were going to do with all the extra capital. So what happened? So SNDL popped on Monday after the marijuana producer said it would create a joint venture with SAF Group. As of 1.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sundial stock price was up more than 10%. So what? The two companies will work together to build Sunstream Bancorp. The joint venture will focus on making cannabis-related debt and equity investments in Canada and international markets. SNDL and SAF Group will each own half of Sunstream. Sunstream will create a special opportunities fund that will accept contributions from third-party investors along with $100 million in initial funding from Sundial. Sunstream also intends to create a Canadian special purpose acquisition company in the future. Following early success with our internal capital investment program, we are pleased to announce this new partnership with SAF. As we continue to identify innovative ways to deliver on our commitment to shareholder value creation, Sundial CEO Zach George said in a press release. Sunstream will enable Sundial to remain focused on our core operations while leveraging the strength of SAF's private equity and credit investment expertise on a global scale. Now what? Sundial has raised hundreds of millions of dollars in recent months via a series of share and warrant offerings. These stock sales have diluted its shareholders' ownership stakes, but they've also given the cannabis producer a lot of cash to invest. Ultimately, the long-term performance of Sundial stock will be determined by its ability to generate strong returns on its shareholders' capital. For today, at least, investors appear to be signaling their approval of how Sundial's leadership team is deploying their cash. And I, I love it. All right, so we're going to be doing a quick technical analysis on ZOM Zom Medica. And I must say, the run-up is starting to get really serious. So we ended up being up 8.73% on the day. So one of the things that I love to see, we end up having a nice gap up and a movement towards the upside in the pre-market. We end up hitting a resistance level here at around $2.50. We're, we're unable to actually surpass this throughout the rest of the pre-market. And it's actually one of those areas that we want to pay attention to. And I'm going to let you know that just in a moment. So we can see here as far as the support level in the pre-market, it was doing a great job holding down this $2.40 range. So as we get into the open, we end up having a pretty strong sell-off. But you see how small that candle is. So again, you would have to be very quick to actually catch this. But this is around $2.32. And to be honest with you guys, I was actually thinking about buying some shares for the 5k challenge with Zom, but I was really looking for a lower entry point. But as you can see here, once it touched this area of $2.32, that was it. The next support level there was literally at $2.35, which it revisited on three different occasions all the way up just before 12 o'clock. So that's when we notice, hey, you know what? The run-up is happening. It is real. We can even take a look all the way over here. As you can see on the Friday, this stock was at two bucks. And it's literally running up now to it got to a high here of $2.59, which was a resistance area. Now, if we take a look at what it's looking like in the after hours, it's at $2.51. So this is an area to really pay attention to. As you can see from the 21 day EMA, that's exactly where it's at. It's like $2 and 50 cents. So we're just right above it. So it looks like this continuous trend is going to be going in regards to, you know what, the true form of release. We talked about it reaching $3. This is definitely a doable goal for this to happen by the looks of what I saw today from Zom. If we take a look even later on in the afternoon as we got closer to close, we see that there's a really solid support area here, even around the 245 range. As you can see, it started, it literally just touched on the 100 day so one of the things we need to look out for if the momentum continues we could definitely see a move for zom reclaiming back into this two dollars and 55 cents area tomorrow 
and going up even further. Once this resistance area here at $2.59 is broken, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing a move go to $2.70. But from what it looked like from today and how strong it was, there's definitely some strong support here at $2.35. And it seems like that's going to be the new entry point for anyone that's looking to get into ZOM. But I got to say the big butt in the room here. If you can catch the 220 area, that's just as good. And if you can, even if it pulls back even heavier, maybe the, there's a sharp dip inside the market. If you get it at two, you cannot hesitate as well. And this is just going for as far as how this week is going. As far as as we get further closer to the end of the month, again, we already know there could definitely possibly be a sell-off here. So be extremely careful. Let's take a look quickly at the three-month chart. And as we can see right here, there's definitely some support at that $2 area. So if you see it there, and again, this is assuming that this is before, like let's say about a week before the actual release of the true format and you can get it in this area, it might be a good entry. Also taking a look at this $2.20 area, if it pulls back that far, this is not a bad entry either. But as you can see right here, it's holding down 235, which is around this particular area. And you can see we've definitely been there. So the fact that right now it's at 247, like I'm starting to be laughing here, but at the same time, it's just crazy how the run-up is going. We could definitely see a test that's going to be coming past the 260s. And if we go past the 260s, we can get into that 270 area very, very quickly. So for my final thoughts, I must say I'm happy with what I'm seeing with Sundial Growers. We know that they raise a lot of capital and the fact that they're actually putting it to use to grow the company, this is huge. And the fact now they have access and working with a firm that can help them get onto a global scale, like this, this is exciting. This is what we really wanted to hear. This is what we were looking forward to in regards to being shareholders. Now for Zom now. I, I, I like honestly, I was definitely looking to actually get into Zom today for the 5k challenge, but it just was not coming down to the price where I wanted to pay. So we saw that there's some strong support in that 230 to the 235 area, and I'm going to be looking at it again tomorrow, seeing how well it does. If it ends up touching that area, I might consider actually getting in with a position, or I just might move on to another stock to actually put in for the challenge, but the run-up is definitely real right now. As we know, last week, Zom was in that $2 range, and the fact that it's moving the way it's moving right now, uh, like I said, if we end up having a drastic pullback, take advantage of that, and like I said, play that true form of release, buy the rumor, sell the news. If you believe in the company long-term, I would highly suggest if you're thinking about building a position right now, be patient, wait, and anyone who's doing any short-term trades or looking for momentum, hey, Zom is actually looking good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And also I gotta put in the disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So when you do invest, just know that you're doing it at your own risk.